Okay, so today we are going to install those pesky Pro Tools eBooks. These could be a little complicated, that's why I'm calling them pesky. Okay, so here's the scoop. Pro Tools. Uh, the LACC Bookstore will be sending you download codes. So when you do get the download codes, the best thing to do is to just go to the Canvas page and follow the uh, directions that I put up on the page. I'm gonna go there right now so you can follow along. You're seeing the teacher version of the class, but it's the same route to get there. So if you go into modules and go down to computer requirements and downloads right here, And this is also in module one uh, overview and assignments as well. If you scroll down to about halfway down, you'll see right here where it says um, Adobe Digital Editions for reading the Pro Tools eBooks. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is download Adobe Digital Editions. Luckily, that is free. Um, you just click on the link and it'll take you right to the Adobe Digital Editions installer page you can uh uh let's see it looks like you can install it on macintosh you can install it on windows you could do it on your iphone or you can do it on your android or your or your tablets cool thing about this is that um, what i like to tell people to do is maybe if you have a phone maybe put it on your phone and then have Pro Tools open your computer. That way you can go back and forth between your phone, which has the ebook, and your computer, which has the actual program. You know, for some folks, especially if you only have one monitor, that might be the way to go. The other thing you can do is um, you can install the ebook on up to six different devices. So you can have it on your phone, tablet, and a computer if you happen to own all three of those things and three other so if actually if you wanted to share ebooks with other people you could keep that in mind as well so one person would have to sign up for the ebook but it could be shared on up to six different devices so after you install adobe digital editions then go back and click on the pro tools ebooks uh, instructional download right here it's a pdf or you can look at it on the canvas page <clears throat> And this tells you exactly what to do. So it even says the first thing you need to do is download and install the free Adobe Digital Editions ebook reader. And it gives you a link right there. So you can also do it through here as well. Um, you do have to have an Adobe ID uh, in order to use Adobe Digital Editions. So if you don't have one of those yet, it's free as well. It's like signing up for a Gmail or a Hotmail. Click right there and do that. Then, and this tells you why that you need to do that, because if you don't have an Adobe ID, it will download and install the ebook to your computer um, within what we call an anonymous activation. That opens up a whole can of worms that really no one can get you out of. Um, so the best thing to do is to just get the free Adobe ID if you don't have one yet, but you should as a student at LACC. Um, and use that as your um, way to get Adobe Digital Editions onto your device. So, <clears throat> locate your ebook URL. After you redeem your ebook product in your myavid.com account, open it and locate your ebook URL. So, let me show you what they mean by that. So, by now, you should have an Avid account. So what I do to go to my Avid account is go to account.avid.com, sign in. I'm all automatically signed in because I'm always here apparently. And then right here where it says my products, view my products. This is how you also get to your Pro Tools uh, program to download it. When you sign up for an account with Avid and say you want Pro Tools, it'll send you a, a link, and that link can be redeemed here on the My Products page. Same with the eBooks. So click on this. Now yours will look different than mine because I've got a ton of Avid stuff, but what you want to do 
is scroll down. There it is, right there. To you should have Pro Tools 101, Pro Tools Fundamentals, uh, Fundamentals One, and Pro Tools 110, Pro Tools Fundamentals Two. Um, I've got a couple copies of a different different versions, but you should have the one that says 2020, 21, and 2020, 2021. So what you do is let's do the 101. Just click on this. <clears throat> And it will, what it does is, it's, this is the part that I find to be the most confusing. And it took me a while to figure it out, but this is how you do it. it says here, this is the link to your ebook right here. And the 110 works like this as well. What you want to do is copy this. And then on whatever device you're going to be doing this on. Well, actually, no. On your on your on the computer that you're on, paste it, and then go to that page, and then you'll see this come up. What that link is? It's a unique link only to you that takes you to the download page for this ebook for you. Um, there is no other link like it. So it's asking you to create your free Adobe account here. If you haven't uh, done it already, this is where you do it. Then it tells you to install Adobe Digital Editions. If you haven't done it already, this is where you do it, but hopefully you have. So they could just skip to step three, download your book access file here. And I'm just going to throw this into my downloads folder. And now I'll do the same thing for the 110 book. Here is Pro Tools 110, Pro Tools Fundamentals 2, 2020, 2021 ebook. Click on that. Once again, there is a web address right here. It, it's weird. It, sh it shows you this little link, this little thing right here. This is what you actually want to click on or copy. Then paste it into a new window, hit return. Now it's gonna take you to your unique 110 download page. You've already got your Adobe account, you already have Adobe Digital Editions. So now download your access file here. All right, so I've downloaded both of these to my downloads folder. This is the part where you need to decide, hey, do you just want to keep this on your computer or do you want to put this on another device? This is what I do. First of all, whatever device you're going to use this on or use these eBooks on, uh, you need to have Adobe Digital, Digital Editions installed on that device. So if you want to put, put this on your phone, make sure your phone has it. If you want to put this on your tablet, make sure your tablet has that. If you just want to do this on the computer that you're on right now, um, just make sure Adobe Digital Editions is on there and uh, follow me on to this next step. Downloads. So here are the two um, here are the two files I downloaded. Fundamentals 1 and Fundamentals 2. These are .acsm files. These are files that can only be read by Adobe Digital Editions. So if you want to for example, um, have this on your phone, the best thing to do is to email these to yourself. Email these files to yourself, open up the files on your phone, and then psh, they're on your phone if you have Adobe Digital Editions on your phone. Um, I'm going to do this on my computer. So right here, all you have to do is double click and if you have Adobe Digital Editions, it'll find it and open it up. See, here's Adobe Digital Editions. It will say fulfilling. It happens so fast, you can barely see it. And then boom, there it is. Uh, let's see, then go back to my downloads folder. Do the same thing for number two. Boom, there it is. So now I have the eBooks on my computer, as you can see, table of contents. These are the different chapters. There are 10 chapters. They call them lessons. Each, uh, you can skip around just by uh, clicking as I'm clicking here. 
And when we do our exercises in class, these are the exercises I'm talking about. Um, every week we will do um, two exercises. So for example, um, what is this? I believe upcoming this week we've got uh, exercise two and three. So that is in the Pro Tools 101 book. So I'm gonna go back to my library, find the Pro Tools 101 book. I've got so many in here, this is crazy. There it is. Double click on it, table of contents, open that up section one so lesson two has exercise two lesson three has exercise three so exercise two as you can see it's like a fill in the blank type of exercise um best thing to do is just just go through um all these questions fill in the answers on say like a google doc or microsoft word document or even pages if you're on a mac and send the answers to me. And the cool thing about these exercises is that everything you need to complete the exercises is located in the chapter. So exercise two, all the answers are in lesson two. You just have to search through them and find them. Exercise three, exercise three is another fill in the blank. It's saying what, identify what these buttons are. So these buttons, uh, as you can see right here, um, the zoomer tool. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, trim tool, selector tool. So as you can see in exercise three, it's saying, what are these buttons called? We just found what they're called. So that is it. So once again, like I said, if you want to have these eBooks on your phone or your tablet, the only added step is uh, wherever you download these files to, email those files to yourself and open up those files on the device in which you want to use the ebooks and then you'll be good to go. And that is how the ebooks work. Good luck.